some common training material available or common resources and will that help in eliminating some issues or challenges that we see in peer review today? So on the general question of whether reviewers need to be trained, if I can rephrase the question in a way, um, I certainly think there's uh, a lot to be done in terms of training existing reviewers, but also training a new generation of reviewers about how to review. Um, I don't know whether a shared common resource is necessary, necessarily the best way forward, um, but certainly training needs to be done, and I don't think anyone's in doubt about that. So just as an example, um, peer review, uh, surveys of peer reviewers have shown that peer reviewers, even the most well established ones, the ones with the longest experience in peer review, could do with some training and they, they would appreciate training. Um, often training has taken place fairly informally, so a junior researcher may have been mentored by their um, PI in their lab for example, and given the opportunity to do some peer review alongside them shadowing if you like. Um, I think we are probably we probably need to think, um, and I put myself in the position of publishers, but also um, managing editors of journals as well, we probably need to think about how we can train the next generation of reviewers in a more formal way perhaps. Um, and that could include not giving, not just giving them guidance on how to do things, which I think most journals do anyway, uh, generic guidance about the sorts of expectations the editor has about how to review a paper, but giving them slightly more concrete and formal guidance about the sorts of things that are, that need to happen in peer review. What, it, what is it that the reviewer should be looking for? What is the role of the reviewer actually in the, in the um, publication process? Um, and that could include anything from uh, dealing with ethics through to dealing with um, the quality of the methodology in a manuscript. Is, is the science reproducible? Is there enough information to make the, the paper reproducible? Um, looking at data, so at the um, ISMT meeting that's just concluded, we had a really interesting session on data and um, a question was asked about the responsibility of peer reviewers to look at data. Um, so there's, there's a whole load of questions there that I think we need to, uh, as a publishing industry and also as managing editors of journals, need to think about in terms of training up um, the, the next generation of reviewers. So what according to you is the first step in this direction? The first step, I think, would be to, um, I think there's probably a cultural change that needs to happen actually um, at the research institution level, perhaps the funder level as well, because unless reviewers, rec uh, unless reviewers realize that they're going to get some sort of appreciation for their work or recognition for their work, they're not going to have the incentive to undertake any sort of training. Um, it will still be carry on being a fairly informal sort of activity. So I think there needs to be a whole cultural shift in the way that um, research institutions or whoever the people are that are employing the reviewers feel about the way they're allowing their employers to spend time on peer review as an activity. Um, so the whole question of peer review recognition is um, actually the theme of this year's peer review week coming up at the end of September and there are going to be 16 founder organisations in that, of which ISMT is one, but there are other organisations involved in the whole publishing ecosystem. Um, and I think it will be really interesting to see whether from that um, there, emerge, there emerges any consensus about how reviewer recognition can be taken forward in the industry as a whole.